Good morning everybody, you tuned in to Crackcore. Thank you for tuning in today. It's Wednesday the 22nd of February, 2020, was it three? <laughs> 2023. So today we're gonna to be talking about something that's uh, been confirmed for me actually this morning. I mean, it probably could have been confirmed for me earlier than this but as a process of how this confirmation came about it happened this morning basically and I'm not going to mention any names here I don't want to besmirch anybody's name it's not what I'm here for but it does provoke thoughts and as much as you know I'm not trying to rain on anybody's parade what this confirmation has done for me has provoked other thoughts so therefore it's been the catalyst for what this video is actually about so I'm going to get past the first initial bit and then we'll get into the meat of it basically there was a youtuber that arose to fame during all of the the COV stuff back in 2020 now all the rallies and stuff that were happening in the capital here in the UK all of the protests and stuff people were holding up placards with this person's name on now I for one used to watch the person's videos and you know this person was extremely you know finger on the pulse exposing quite a lot of stuff and you know creating a lot of free thought in the people and that was brilliant but then there was a few occasions where a slogan was being said and I spoke to a few people independently who I'd not met before and this slogan was fucking rebutted back to me when talking about these subjects completely unrelated this person wasn't mentioned and I thought okay so what's taking place here in the masses is a mild brainwashing because these people are now saying this slogan as if it came from their own mouths now this is what happens with all of these things like these brainwashing agenda type things I'm not saying that's what this is but that's what happens in them too you know so basically I'm thinking to myself at this point right alarm bells are going off not massive alarm bells at this point but it was enough to pique my interest and uh, kind of made me take a step back a little and I thought to myself well that's a bit odd because it was you know, based on what it is I've looked at and been exposed to over the years. So anyway, later on, this particular person started mentioning a few things, not the person I was talking to, the person, not you know, the YouTuber, was mentioning a few things, again, that piqued my interest somewhat. Because they were talking about Jesus God and all of this stuff now again I got nothing against Jesus you know I got nothing against God I mean I got nothing against the Bible really I've got my own theories my own thoughts and opinions on that which we'll get to I mean even I've quoted certain things in my videos but they've been general things like you know, judge not, you know, for they know not what they do, all of these kind of fucking things that you hear about. Because I'm not, I can't deny the validity of the, pos, you know, the, the, the positivity, the positive message within the Bible and stuff like that. Because there is a positive message to be taken from it. To deny that would be stupid. 
Because there is, isn't there? But it shouldn't just be taken wholeheartedly, in my opinion. Any religion shouldn't be taken wholeheartedly as, you know, a fucking framework for life that you live your life based on and nothing else. But we'll get to that. This person, this YouTuber then, started, I don't know, saying things that kind of made me feel as though they were trying to set up some sort of <coughs> cult following. When I say cult following, I don't mean like culture classics, you know, certain bands have a cult following because they were of their time, you know, like the Beatles and shit. Like a cult-like following is what I mean. So, again, a few more alarm bells started to ring quietly in the chasms of my mind. But I slowly started drawing away, you know, and, and, and not watching this person's videos as much because I don't like that. I'm thinking, well, you know, if, if something is, you know, setting my spidey senses off, then there's a reason for that. You've got to trust your instincts here. We don't trust our instincts enough in life. You know, how you feel, your gut, your heart, is also a brain. Listen to them. Just as a side note, I recently saw, a, uh, heard of a study where they've looked at the, the heart and there are synapses and pathways in the heart that are the same as the brain, man. <laughs> what do people say, you know, trust your heart. What your heart, your head, you've got all these things, it's all connected. Anyway, back on point. This morning I was flicking through YouTube, looking for a short video to watch whilst I was on the toilet. Yes, and I'm not the only one that does that, am I? You may be watching this video whilst you're on the toilet, and that's okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, I found a video of this guy's, and it was about something that's been happening recently. And. <laughs> I thought, you know what, I'll give it a go because it's a subject that I haven't heard much about because I tend to stay away from the media nowadays. I don't pay attention at all. You know what, life is so much better without the media, man. Somebody was talking to me the other day about the Ukrainian stuff and how it's developed. I was like, has it? I don't know what's going on, mate. It was news to me. <laughs> Blimey, I've not been affected by it, I'm afraid. But anyway, you know, my mental state hasn't been marred and tarred by all of that stuff. But anyway, we continue. I watched this video and again, as soon as the video starts, there is now a message on the screen talking about money, asking for money. I get it people eventually make money off YouTube, they make money off their off their channels, and eventually they think, well, you know, I don't really want to go to work. And when that becomes their income, they have to protect it and treat it as such, which is their income. Which means they've got to beg a friend, don't they? They've got to start begging for the income because it is through donations and advertisements and stuff. So basically... Now there's a beg for money at the start of the video, which I thought, I don't know, man. I get it, things cost money. They do. I can't knock it. But then when you tie that in to now the heavy religious aspect of this person's message, they're, they're talking about the Bible now on a regular basis and directly relating what they're exposing 
to I say exposing you know lower KC quote unquote type of thing they're using that as a direct comparison to what the Bible would offer or living life within the confines of what the Bible offers and you know mentioning certain things like this or putting their information across in such a way <clears throat> throughout their videos and to me that's dangerous stuff because first and foremost you're telling people to think for themselves here let's not forget that you're telling people to think for themselves, but to think the way you're telling them to do, uh, you know, in the same fucking breath, in the same sentence. It's a bit contradictory, may I say. And at the end of the videos now, I don't know if it's on every single video, but it was on this one. It was, I'll leave you with this, and then there was a Bible quote. Now I get it, right? People love the Bible, people love religion. But in my opinion, <clears throat> religion should be used as a tool. It's a stepping stone that leads you into thinking for yourself. It's a valuable tool that causes you to have questions because let's face it, no religious book has all the answers. Therefore, it gives you more questions and so, any, so it should. Anything in life should, its value should be based on how many questions it fucking gives you. Because what that does is, it causes you to think for yourself and actually go out and seek the answers yourself. And ultimately where religion takes you in regards to the questions it forces you to ask, it actually leads you to spirituality as opposed to religion. And it kind of leads you to a, a, a realization that actually doctrine, indoctrination and like indoctrinated religion isn't the way forward, which is fantastic in its own right because there are holes to be poked in it. And those holes are the questions it cannot answer. It does offer you a decent framework with regards to certain moral standing and certain values in life. But surely by living through the moral standards and those values, it's a good tool in regard to deciphering the questions that it also gives you, which do ultimately lead you to acknowledging and realizing, if you're brave enough to do so, that there are good aspects to this thing, but it's not the be all and end all of how you should be living your life. You should never give away your decision-making capability to something that hasn't got the answers. Simply because somebody said, well, that's God's will. God works in mysterious ways. I beg to differ. It's insanity to give away your conscious, free-thinking mind <clears throat> to something that hasn't got all of the answers for you because nothing will ever have all of the answers for you you will never have all of the answers for yourself because there will always be another question that you need to have answered in fact that's the healthy aspect of life no one ever knows it all there is an infinite amount of awareness out there an infinite amount of knowledge and wisdom we're all connected to it and at this point in our lives, how many people are actually aware of that? And even those people that are, aren't able to tap into it all at once, man. How could you? 
the physical brain would overload. <laughs> the Bible and all of these other things, <clears throat> they're programs, man. And they're inbuilt with these little back doors that force you to want to think for yourself. It's intrinsically flawed by design. Look at what the first fucking... If this... If the interpretation <coughs> of what it's being used for nowadays isn't one of control and indoctrination, well, you tell me about the first fucking story in the book, The Garden of Eden. Well, the first major story about how they're going on about humans and stuff. You weren't meant to question anything. You know, God said to Adam and Eve, do not question me. Simply do as I say. I'm telling you not to eat the fruit from the fucking tree of wisdom. Do not eat the apple. Run around here in your ignorance, in your fucking naked bodies. And that's it. All of a sudden, they eat from the, uh, the tree of wisdom and it's now the devil's fault. And what happens? Well, you didn't listen to me. So now I'm kicking you out of the Garden of Eden. And now they feel shame. And now the reason why you feel ashamed when you're naked is because you're told that it's because of Adam and Eve. Because they brought shame upon the family by eating from the tree of wisdom. Because now ultimately they they see themselves for the, the shameful beings of the, what they are. It's insanity. It's fucking crazy. But that's one of the first major stories in the Bible. Do as you're told. Don't think for yourself. The tree of wisdom gets you to start thinking. Don't do that. If you can look at that and how, and what it does is it tells you to blame other people or just blame the devil, you know? Just blame the fucking, we'll call him the bad guy. <laughs> forced the fucking apple down their throat, did he? And I'm not a fucking Satanist either. Personally, I think it's fucking laughable, the whole fucking lot of it. But you've got to look at these, these fucking stories and say, people are living their lives on these stories, right? And using it as the foundation for how they live their lives. But in my opinion, there is flaws in built within these things to show you that you actually need to think for yourself because it leads you to understanding that all of these different religious texts that claim to have the fucking the path are all also intrinsically flawed they all have positive messages to give you know the common man and woman but ultimately they are flawed and they should teach you that actually if this one thing that you're being told to use as a way to fucking live your life unquestionably has flaws well then maybe you need to actually fucking go out there and think for yourself as opposed to just fucking being led down the garden path which leads you to the garden of eden which is ignorance why are they promoting that heaven is the place that you are fucking willfully ignorant? Now, why are people begging to get back there? Oh, I know. I want to go back. When I die, I want to go back to heaven. Because heaven is a place where I don't have to think for myself. 
where God just says, do this and do that. And I can run around with my fucking tits and bollocks out. <laughs> what a joke. Keith Chegwin already did that, running around the fucking woods, didn't he? But yeah, we all laughed at him because we all ate the apple, you know. Fuck's sakes. I don't want to turn this into a, a religious ridicule video because it's not. But I think we need... This is... <laughs> This isn't ridiculing religion here. I'm, I'm ridiculing at this point, which I apologise for. It needs to be done though. Because we've got to acknowledge the, the, the severity of our stupidity here, you know? <laughs> Look at how stupid we've become. Is this Eden? You know, like Christ alive. We're living our lives in a state of madness here. And everybody's happy with it. Nobody wants to think for themselves anymore. That much is obvious. Like, look at all of the COVID stuff. Christ, I've said it. I said the C word. I went and said it, didn't I? You watch, you watch this video. Oh, I get taken down. Oh. So here we find ourselves, you know, spiritually. How the hell are you meant to actually do the spiritual work that is required? If you're ignorant to yourself, if you're ignorant to how you are, if you're ignorant to your choices because you have none, how? Any learning comes from mistakes, it comes from introspection, it comes from having an overview of yourself it comes from that ability to look not to be ignorant you know you've got to look deeply at yourself and other people society you've got to look at everything in order to progress as a human being to progress wholly as a society we can't just idly sit by and wait for God to tell us what to do, you know, because ultimately what God is, is also interpreted nowadays and told to you by the very same fucking people that want to enslave you. These people, <coughs> the royal families, the, <coughs> the high ups in all of these religions tell you what God is. They tell you what religion is and you follow it. If this is such a huge part that is intrinsic within the control of mankind, well then you've got to question it. You've got to look at it and say, well actually, if these very same people are in charge of this, well then maybe there's something here that I need to question. At the very least, for crying out loud, maybe there's something you need to question. Maybe you just need to look a little deeper. Perhaps just think for yourself for once. You know? And on that note, I'm gonna wish love and peace to all things everywhere. And I'm gonna just end it here and say, think for yourselves don't give away your ability to be critical don't give away your instincts for an easy life man listen to your gut listen to your heart and listen to your head whatever it is you feel about a situation about a person think about it try and tune into the energy 
that anything emits, it could be this video, it could be a book, it could be anything that you come into contact with. Think about how it makes you feel on a deeper level. If you feel it twisting you up inside, well then it's for a reason. Think about how and why. What is it about? And therefore ask yourself, based on that, why would it be making you feel that way? And that's the start. And on that note, love and peace to all things everywhere. Peace. This is Cradcore, signing off.